on this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Sunny becomes paralyzed when thunderstorms strike. That's pretty major. When you have a hypersensitive dog, you have to do everything you can to help that dog cope. Before she begins her training process, Victoria will spend a day observing the family and hearing about their concerns. While Sunny is a terror on the street, inside the house, she becomes paralyzed with fear when a thunderstorm rolls in. And we've got some home movie. Okay. She's just shaking and hiding. And then she runs back and forth under the chair or to a little box she's got or back under the sewing machine. And she would get so scared. Mm -hmm. She, we can't get her out. She won't eat. She won't drink any water. Now she's she really pants. shaking. Yeah. She can't rest. She'll go from one hiding spot to another. Wow. That's pretty major. Pretty major reaction. She's definitely experiencing thunderstorm phobia. She's shaking, she's pacing, she can't settle. She tries to go underneath furniture to get away, and she'll do that until the thunderstorm passes. I want to show the family a couple of things that they can do and use on Sunny to help her cope. Now I have an audio recording of a thunderstorm. I like to start the sound off at a very, very low level. But then something good happens to the dog as it hears it. And that's either lots of petting, or lots of praise, or playing with the toy. I would like to see Victoria try and help Sonny become less sensitive to the noise. That's going to be a big step. With the sound on low, Sonny immediately takes notice. And as the volume increases, Sonny becomes even more agitated. I see. It's a little loud for her. I got to a level on the speaker that Sunny finally couldn't handle. So I turned it right back down again. Okay, now I'd like to get out the toy. Okay. There you go, because she could hear that. <gasps> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Gail was playing with the toy with Sunny. She was listening because I could see her ears and her eyes and look, look at the speaker. But uh, her mind was still on the toy. With the toy holding Sonny's attention, Victoria hopes to eventually desensitize her to the increasing volume. That was a pretty good rumble there. It makes a lot of sense we've got to condition Sonny to the sounds to help her get used to it. I think over time it'll help a lot. And if it takes you months, fine, do it. This is the perfect time to do it. OK. In addition, Victoria has a few other tools to help Sunny cope when a storm rolls in. And it's not just the sounds of the thunderstorm. It's the, the, the changes in barometric pressure, which we know dogs feel. It's the possible buildup of static electricity. And that's why she paces, and that's why she's trying to find a place to hide. This is a wrap that goes around the dog, and they feel even more secure because it's just a little closer. The wrap that I use is specially designed to lessen a dog's anxiety, so it feels safe. The second thing is using an anti-static sheet that you put into the dryer, and you just rub your dog down with it. You can tell Sonny can feel electricity because the hair will stand up a little bit. So it's completely logical that the anti-static dryer sheets will work. This is a dog appeasing pheromone, and you plug it in, and that gives the dog a feeling of calm. The other thing that's really important is that if there's a favorite place that your dog likes to go to in a thunderstorm, make a little den-like area in that place and put rubber matting down if there's a carpet, so that if there is static, then the rubber matting cuts that up, cuts that down. Right. Try and make it a place that has no windows, or shut your blinds so you don't see the flashes. All right. Okay. Hunter's also been helping Gail desensitize Sonny to the sound of thunder. Oh, yeah. Turn it down. That was too much. Here. She's getting more used to it and realizing it's not going not gonna to kill her. Good girl, Sonny. Good girl. Since Victoria's been gone, the thunderstorm program has worked really well. Put your nice wrap on. 
Sunny is a lot more comfortable during the storm. She doesn't immediately go run off and hide. That's my girl. Her ears are shaking this whole time, but she's paying attention to the training. She's still real jumpy, but she's a whole lot better than she was. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.